first of all, I would like to uh, offer my personal condolences uh, to the Vigo family, as well as offer the deepest sympathy of all of the employees of Southern California Edison about this tragic uh, event. Uh, we recognize that this is a very difficult time for the family, friends, and neighbors, and they all have our deepest condolences. Uh, we have been in contact uh, with the family. Uh, as soon as this is over, uh, we will be meeting with them again. Uh, the company is offering assistance for their immediate needs, uh, including grief counseling. All of our employees are deeply moved by this tragedy and are taking up collections for the family and the company will match those contributions. We are conducting an active investigation into the incident. Uh, we are determined to get all of the facts. We will leave no stone unturned so that we can take appropriate corrective actions. We are also cooperating uh, with local authorities, the California Public Utilities Commission, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration as they conduct their investigations as well. We have field crews on site as well as support personnel and senior executives uh, to ensure that the investigation uh, is conducted in a very thorough manner. I'd like to close uh, with a public safety uh, reminder. If you see a downed power line, uh, stay away from it. You always need to assume that that line is energized with electricity and extremely dangerous. If you see a downed power line, call 911, your local police, or Southern California Edison uh, to handle the situation. Thank you. We'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and take some questions now. When investigations are completed and all the facts are known, um, the company will take uh, corrective actions to prevent accidents from recurring uh, and to prevent them um, and, and making the corrective actions basically to prevent them from recurring. Has there happened before? Has the line come down this backyard before? The investigation is still underway. We are at early stages uh, and we can't comment on that right now. We design our systems and operate their systems uh, to, um, for the conditions that are present and uh, we try to maintain them for those conditions, but until we get to the uh, investigation we really can't make judgments. That will be part of the investigation uh, as to what conditions the line were, was designed for and what the conditions actually were, and uh, that will come out as part of the investigation as well. If I can just maybe re ask the question, apart from this specific case which is under investigation, are there any risks or concerns about power lines that run directly behind homes in high wind areas? There are risks uh, with power lines and wind is one of the factors that we have to take into account uh, in our design and operation of the system uh, and we try to address that and we will learn from this investigation uh, and, and make any changes necessary. Has power been restored to the area or not yet? Is there a time frame for when it will be? 
Yeah, my understanding is there's about 150 customers down. I think you'll understand if I were to say that uh, safety uh, is our paramount concern. Uh, and so we are making sure that the area is safe and secure. Uh, once we have done that, uh, the crews will restore the lines as quickly as, as possible. And once we have a better time estimate, we'll let you all know.